Well, both the White House and the Internal Revenue Service are in for some tough questions. This after the IRS admits it inappropriately targeted conservative groups for tax enforcement. Fox News correspondent Doug Luzader has more. The IRS is about to face an audit of its own, with Congress poised to launch multiple investigations into behavior that the agency has already admitted to. The Internal Revenue Service, and by extension the White House, spent the weekend being hammered by Democrats and Republicans, angry over revelations that the IRS specifically targeted conservative groups for what may have been illegal scrutiny over their applications for tax-exempt status. I don't care if you're a conservative, a liberal, a, a Democrat, or a Republican, this should send a chill up your spine. This is something that we cannot let stand. I am a liberal Democrat, but we cannot, this is not tolerable, we cannot have a condition in America where people's politics are the basis for IRS um, uh, attacks. Shortly after a round of attacks on Sunday news shows, an embattled White House issued a statement referencing the integrity of government workers, saying the president, quote, is concerned that the conduct of a small number of Internal Revenue Service employees may have fallen short of that standard. And the IRS has also tried to blame this on low-level employees. But it's becoming clear now that senior management there has known about the conduct for some time. And the Wall Street Journal this morning reports that the targets may have included not just groups that use the words Tea Party or Patriot in their names, but organizations that were critical of government debt or spending, or even those that criticize the government in general. Now, it turns out the Treasury Department has been investigating these allegations for the past year or so. Uh, that report is due out this week. In Washington, Doug Luzader, Fox News.